30-year-old Sharil is a volunteer management executive at Tai Hua Guan Hospital. Part of his job is to create new volunteer-related programs for patients. An animal lover, he came up with the idea of using cats for therapy. When I first started working here, I want to do something different for the patients here. And I always wanted to bring animals into the hospital. So what I did is I got to know there is cat therapy in other countries. And when I researched in Singapore, there are dog therapy and horse therapy. So I want to do something different. So hence, I pitched the idea to my management and they approved it. I felt that we need to boost up the morale. A happier patient will be discharged faster because they recover faster. So that's why I always believe that we need to help them emotionally. And that's where cat therapy comes in. Cat Assisted Therapy Singapore, or CATS, is supported by volunteers like Belinda, who dedicate both their time and cats to the therapy sessions, which take place twice a month. I first started with my dog. So we both of us are in therapy session and I found that that is something that I would like to do. And I thought, why not I try doing it with my cats? And I managed to contact Cheryl and he was telling me that, you know, Amokyo Taiwa Kwan Hospital has one. Unfortunately, when I came down, to have the session with him, I found out it was the last one. And it was such a disappointment because I felt that, you know, this is something that Singapore is lacking. So I suggested to him, I say, hey, you know, since you have a cat and I have one and you have the passion for it, I say, why don't we just carry on with the program? And that was how we started. But the project would not have grown had it not been for patients like Mr. Hing. For the 57-year-old, what started out as a curiosity blossomed into an affinity for cats. Hello, oh, yeah, the animal at home. They are cute. When I got cat, I happy. The cats program is just over a year old, but has gained traction. Rinse Nursing Home has also adopted it. One of the patients, 84-year-old Madam Hadja, knows the benefits all too well. I think one of the things that a lot of people don't realise is that uh, they provide emotional comfort to them. It may not be a physical thing that you can see from a patient, but I can see from their eyes, you know, when they interact with the cats. They, they, it brings joy to them. It brings them a little bit of happiness. We felt that with we, we having cats around, it's as a focus of attention for the patient and they find comfort in these felines. And we just them watching the cats, they actually uh, make their spirit high and of course, make them very happy at the end of the day. They fill up the emotional gap that the, the patient somehow need. Okay, now it's time for everyone to say hello, Kitty. Hello, Kitty. We've got our special feline guests tonight. Joining us from Cat Assisted Therapy Singapore, or CATS, it's Mac and Lionel. Aren't they beautiful? And of course, their human companions, Belinda Chong and uh, Sharil Abdul Rahim. Hi, Thank guys. you so much for coming Hi. in, guys. You know, Belinda, these cats are so big, I've never seen cats this big before. Uh, can, can any cat, um, no, what breeds are, the, are, are they? Oh, what breed are they? Well, uh, these two are actually Maine Coons. And, uh, Maine Coons? What? Maine Coons. <laughs> oh, Maine Coons. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Maine Coons. Maine Coons. Maine Coons. Maine Coons. Maine Coons. Maine Coons. Like okay. Maine Coons. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah. And uh, they are the original US breed. Right. Oh, <laughs> excitement in the studio. Yes. I don't think your cat Continue likes Continue talking. You. I'm walking my cat. Yes. Okay, fine. Yep. See, um, mine likes me. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so these are Maine Coons. Yes. Why are they so much bigger than the normal, like, Wong um, Kang cats? Generally speaking, they are one of the largest domestic breeds in the world. Oh, and okay. they can easily reach up to about 10 to 13 kg. Wow, oh, okay. Those are yes. big. Yes. And uh, they have got a nickname called Gentle Giants. Aww. They are gentle. This one is a little bit stubborn, but, <laughs> but gentle nonetheless. So, um, so um, can any cat be a therapy cat, Cheryl? 
Um, for for cats, right? Because for other cats, okay. right? So the cats are go through screening process. So we look into the personality, which is very very important. We look into whether they have to be sterilized. They have to be vaccinated also. Uh huh. Sorry, sorry. Relax, relax, relax. Relax, relax. relax. <laughs> okay. Good point. Okay, we come okay. on personality, we'll right? Uh, I think later we'll, we'll talk more on that, lah. Personality. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about uh, the personality of uh, therapy cats. What are you exactly looking for? Well, uh, generally speaking, we'll be looking for a cat that's calm. A cat that is, you know, that allows people to interact with them. And um, the cats that love to be stroked, love to be patted, love to be cuddled, you know. Mm -hmm. cuddle, now, cuddle, cuddle. these are the cats that we are actually looking at because uh, they will be the ones that provide the kind of emotional um, uh, relief right. with the patients. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And, and um, so, for, as part of the therapy, what, how do these cats help? Um, the, the, the folks who are as part of this uh, cat therapy. Okay, for Amokyo Taiwan Hospital, for the, doing the cat therapy session, we actually have three stations. Mm -hmm. The cuddling petting station, okay, um, the grooming station, mm -hmm. and of course the kitten station. So each, case, uh, each, uh, each station actually helps them in different aspects. So I'm, I'm listening, <laughs> I am listening, I am listening. Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Look at this butt. Okay, so back to the back to the <laughs> Okay, so basically doing the, okay, so the yeah. there's the petting, there's the, petting the, grooming, the grooming and the kitten station. At the kitten. Yeah, so okay. we have kittens there. Okay. So for the grooming and the kitten station, hey, the come, patients come. will be do using the upper come body here. strength. Okay. So this will help them to improve their motor okay. skills. Okay. Okay, it's for okay, the cuddling station. Okay, so basically <laughs> they will hug them. Right, it will give them a sense. <laughs> You know what's going on here? Yeah. Okay. So I guess when when you're doing, we're just two of us. Uh, yeah, he's, we're, he's we're the chill cats, yeah. We're the chill cats, right? Okay. So see, look at me, look at the cat, look at Cheryl. We are the chill cats. Mm. Okay. So when you're grooming, because of the the yeah, motion. Yeah, because you are moving the motions, the upper body skills. So we are improving your motor skills. Okay. So in the cutting station, right? It's like a sense of touch. Okay. So to improve we're the back, sense sorry. of touch. Nice. <laughs> Okay. Well, welcome back. <laughs> yes, well done. Was that a good walk? Yes. It, it was. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Thank you so much for joining us. It has been a truly um, perfect <laughs> segment. Yes. Right. And quite possibly one of the best segments we've ever had. Okay. Now, Elvis is known as Mao Wang or the Cat King in Mandarin. To close the show, we have our own Elvis tribute artist, Jacob Thiessen, right here in the studio. He'll be performing later, so don't be cruel, and we'll be right back.